Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to show seconds in the Windows 10 clock, and it should work on Windows 7 and 8 as well. Two ways to do it, edit your registry or use the batch files. Now, the nice thing about the batch files is it's quick and easy, as I'm about to show you. And what's cool about it is all the batch file does is edit your registry, and then it's going to restart Explorer for you so you see the changes immediately. If you edit the registry yourself, you're going to have to kill Explorer log out or reboot to see the changes now you can back up your registry with this link here and look for the little eye up here and that's a link to this tutorial if you need more information including backing up your registry and downloading the file just click download now and it'll be on your computer in a matter of seconds before we do this you want to make sure that you close anything that's open before you run it and when you double click the file let me show you when you do double click the file right here, show, hide, it may pop up saying Windows Smart Screen is blocking it and protecting your computer because Windows doesn't really like you playing with batch files. But here we go. Double click, everything here will close, it'll reopen, and you'll see the seconds right here. Let's go. There you have it. Change your mind, see everything closed. Hide it, and you're back to normal. Pretty easy. So again, if you like, scroll down in the tutorial, and here is the key you need to find. You can see it right here. And when you get there, you're going to create a new D Word 32-bit value. You'll name it Show Seconds and Systems Clock right here. You just right-click and copy. Once you've created it, you can double-click it, and then you're going to change the value data right here from a 0 to a 1. And again, as I mentioned, you're going to have to reboot, log out. And if you change your mind, you just go back over here, find that show seconds in system clock, right click. I'm doing it out of habit. Right click and choose delete. So again, I think the batch files are the way to go. Uh, we just put this up last week. People really seem to love it. I was really surprised. So hopefully it's something you think is cool and you enjoy. Bottom right hand corner, Major Geeks logo always pops up. We gave you a hand. Give us a like at least, and feel free to subscribe. We do a video or two a week, on average. Sometimes five, I don't know. Yeah, there you have it. Only two and a half minutes to show you how it works. Grab those files and try it out. Let us know how you liked it. Thanks for watching. See ya.